My name is Jacques Leroux and this week we will be travelling from Plotter Falls where we were last week on to Infomoriston. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And after that we will be continuing to Wade Bridge. For Morriston, park in a public car park and walk towards the river. At the right hand side you will see there's a gap in the wall which will take you down to the bridge. This is the Telford Bridge which was built in 1813. When you finish on top of the bridge take a walk down to the other side of the bridge and on the right hand side you'll find a path going down to the bottom. While you're walking around on these rocks, anything that's dark, be careful, it will be extremely slippery. While I was on these rocks, I was sliding backwards into the river quite a few times. When you finish the bottom of the river, retrace your steps back to the main road and continue onto the road bridge. Look towards the east and you will see quite a nice view. It was half an hour's drive from in for Morriston to Whitebridge and we parked up on the main road. We took, the, we took a walk down to the river following the dirt road and then a footpath that leads down to the river. It's a short walk, it's about two minutes. When I got to the bottom it was a quick setup and trying to find a composition. It was a bit of a struggle, I didn't really think I had a decent composition but after a while I, I, I found something. Now, it's midday and it's cloudy, it's, it's not the greatest time of day to take photos. In the morning or the evening is the best time, so far as I know, and midday is not good. But seeing that this was the only time I had available and I'm a trip, I have to, I have to do what I can. You know, you get what you get, in every day. Now, I would love to play the quiet sound of the river flowing and you know nature but I had my kid with me so all you're gonna hear is stones flying and branches breaking and you know as much as a, a little kid can cause havoc around you while you're trying to take a photo even though I didn't think I had a decent composition to start with the photo in the end didn't come out too badly I think I'm gonna have to invest in some decent um, soft grads because at this moment in time I don't have decent quality so I think that's my next purchase some Lee soft grads just a word of note I use a, a wide angle lens with Lee filters for some of my photography and I found that there is a, a landscape polarizer which I didn't know about till after I purchased a normal po uh, polarizer and then there's also a mount for it which will decrease the fake netting you get at wide angles. I did until after I purchased the wrong ones and then of course I had to sell them and get the right ones. We've got one episode to go and then we're on to some new areas. Now just remember, get up early, get out there and you got to be in it to win it. <laughs> <laughs> 